What is up guys, Jarv here, back today jumping into Destiny. In today's video, we're taking a look at all the weapons for the up and coming dungeon, Warlord's Ruin. So if you want to check out all the perks, the origin trait, potential god rolls, and even the brand new exotic, then be sure to stick around and enjoy the video. If you do enjoy the video, be sure to leave a comment and rating down below. And remember to subscribe for more Destiny 2 content. But without further delay guys, let's jump into the video. Now shortly after the launch of Season of the Wish, we see the launch and introduction of Warlord's Ruin. This is a brand new dungeon for Season 23, and with that we get new weapons and armor, and even a brand new exotic. In today's video, we're going to take a look at all the perks, the origin trait, and the brand new exotic weapon. Now first of all, we're going to take a look at the origin trait. This will apply to all the legendary weapons inside the dungeon, and this is called Sundering. Now for this particular trait, by destroying vehicles and constructs, this will grant the weapons bonus reload speeds and charge rates. Now another thing to bear in mind is normally dungeon weapons are not craftable. However, a lot of the legendary traits on these weapons do state that the traits can be enhanced at the relic in the Mars Enclave once requirements are met. This doesn't necessarily mean the weapons are craftable, but they may be upgradable if you are able to get a god roll that you want. You may be able to elevate that even further and convert basic traits into enhanced traits. Now the very first weapon we're going to take a look at is the In-Depth Kindness. This is a Arc Special Ammo Rocket Sidearm, a brand new archetype. You might have seen this in your collections with a blank icon, but thanks to Destiny Leaks, we get a preview of this weapon. And as you can see, they synergize almost perfectly with some of this season's armor ornaments. Bungie are going all in on the Witcher theme, and these weapons are following the same path. Now, as for legendary traits, there are six perks in each column for each of the weapons. For the In-Depth Kindness, you'll find Lead from Gold, Impulse Amplifier, Offhand Strike, Enlightened Action, Loose Change, and Beacon Rounds. Now, Beacon Rounds is where final blows with the weapon grant your projectiles tracking for an improved duration, and dealing firmer damage extends the timer. And as for the final column, you'll find Surrounded, alongside Adagio, Vault Shot, Attrition Orbs, which is where dealing sustained damage creates a slightly improved orb of power. Deconstruct, where dealing sustained damage grants bonus damage against vehicles and constructs and partially refills the magazine. And damage with primary ammo or against constructs provides additional progress. And the final trait is Permeability, another brand new trait for this season, where using your class ability changes this weapon's damage type to match that of your subclass until you stow the weapon. Now next up we have the Dragon Cult Sickle. This is a Strand Caster Frame Sword, the first of its type. Now once again, thanks to Destiny 2 leaks, we do get a preview of this weapon. On the in-game icon, it looks absolutely massive. As we can see, this is very traditional when it comes to caster frame swords. Nevertheless, it still has a unique aesthetic, heavily leaning into that Witcher theme. Now, as we mentioned earlier, there are six perks available in each of the main trait columns. This can roll with Tireless Blade, Assassin's Blade, Demolitionist, Unrelenting, Duelist Trance, and another new trait called Slice. Now, Slice is where casting your class ability allows this weapon to sever targets on hit for an improved duration. And in the final column, you'll find Whirlwind Blade, Surrounded, Chain Reaction, Golden Tricorn, Hatchling, and Attrition Orbs. There are some immensely strong perk combinations on this Strand Caster Frame Sword, ones that allow you to freely sever your targets, create even more Threadlings, or even Orbs of Power. It could be one of the strongest weapons on offer, so be sure to let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Now next up we have the Vengeful Whisper. This is a Strand Precision Bow. Now again we get an awesome preview of this up and coming dungeon weapon. Now as for main legendary traits, in the first column you'll find Hip Fire Grip, Archer's Tempo, Explosive Head, Keep Away, Enlightened Action, alongside the new perk, Slice. And as for the final column you'll find Successful Warm Up, Offhand Strike, Hatchling, Collective Action, Precision Instrument, and High Ground. Now with some of these perks, this could be a Strand version of the Hush. By combining Archer's Tempo and Successful Warm Up, this bow will have a very short downtime, and as a Strand weapon, it will have perfect synergies with some of your fragments and aspects. 
It's definitely one to keep an eye out for when jumping into the Warlord's Ruin. And the fourth and final legendary weapon is Naeem's Lance. This is another strand weapon. This one though is Rapid Fire Frame Sniper Rifle. And once again, we get an awesome preview of this up and coming weapon, again, heavily themed around the Witcher collaboration. Now, as for legendary traits in the first column, this can roll with Elemental Capacitor, Reconstruction, Keep Away, Hatchling, Discord, and Loose Change. And as for the final perk column, this can have Demolitionist, Precision Instrument, High Ground, Slice, Attrition Orbs, and Deconstruct. Now, Deconstruct is where dealing sustained damage grants bonus damage against vehicles and constructs and partially refills the mag. And dealing damage with primary ammo or against constructs provides additional progress. Once again, another unique weapon. Will this be one that you'll be keeping an eye out for? Be sure to let me know down in the comments below. Now, next up, we're going to take a look at the unique, exotic, exclusive to the Warlord's Ruin dungeon. This one's called Buried Bloodline, and this is an exotic void sidearm. And this comes with the exotic intrinsic Hungering Quarrel. And this is where the weapon double fires tracking bolts and landing bolts that leeches health from that target. It also comes with the exotic trait Violent Reanimation, so multiple final blows with this weapon grant Devour to the Wielder. Now again, thanks to D2 Leaks, we get an incredible preview of this up-and-coming sidearm. And as we can see, this is not any normal sidearm. This weapon is essentially a handheld crossbow. Now the Buried Bloodline also comes with a catalyst. Much like in previous dungeons, this will likely be a guaranteed drop from the Master difficulty, and this is called Split Vein Lineage. Now for this trait, while Devour is active, this weapon weakens on hit. So by combining the intrinsic main exotic trait and catalyst, a single handheld weapon leeches, grants Devour and weakens a single target. If you've truly ever needed a reason to try out sidearms, the Buried Bloodline could be just that. Now as well as brand new weapons, we also get unique armor and this can drop in the form of artifice armor on the master difficulty this armor set is called the dark age set and for the eagle eye guardians amongst you you would have seen that you can actually preview the entire armor set via the transmog screen in game here we get a good preview of the warlock's dark age visor gloves overcoat leg braces and bond as for the hunter you'll have the dark age mask grips harness strides and an awesome looking cloak and to round us out, we have the Titan with the Dark Age Helm, Gauntlets, Chess Rig, Sabatons, and Mark. Now, these are all themed around the dungeon's location. We're not going to reveal that in this video, and we'll let you discover that for yourself. Is the Warlord's Ruin a dungeon that you're excited for? And if it is, what loot will you be chasing? Be sure to let me know what you think down in the comments below. So there we have it guys, a good look at the loot from the up and coming Warlords Ruin Dungeon. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to check out one of the two videos you see here in these cards for more Destiny 2 content. And if you want to keep up to date with everything to do with Destiny 2, then be sure to hit subscribe as well. I'm going to be to the game as always guys, and I will catch you all again very soon.